Hello friends. Today we are going to discuss about CCTV in health establishment. I am Dr. Suresh Badadmat, Professor of Psychiatry, working at National Institute of Mental Health and Neurosciences, Bangalore. In this video, I will be discussing about CCTV in health establishment. What are the ethical and legal issues which will arise if you have CCTV in your hospital? What are the different case laws which are available with regard to India? And what are the recommendations which you need to follow if you are having CCTV or you are planning to have CCTV in your clinic or in the hospital? Let's understand what is CCTV. CCTV means closed circuit television. Here the word closed circuit and television needs to be understood. Here CCTV is a TV system in which signals are not publicly distributed but are monitored primarily for surveillance and security purpose, purposes only. You need to understand the designation closed circuit which indicates that access to their content is limited by the design only to those able to see it for the purpose of surveillance only. Closed circuit television also known as video surveillance is the use of video cameras to transmit a signal to a specific place but not openly transmitted to others though it may employ point to point or point to multiple point or through wireless links. Usually CCTV may operate continuously that is 24 bar 7 or as required to monitor particular place and particular time. For example, the CCTV recording can be triggered whenever there is a motion is detected. The recording can be video alone, audio alone or combination of video and audio. Let's look at this CCTV circuit. You can see there is cameras which are placed across the hospitals. From there, it will be connected to a switcher. The, from that switch, it will move towards the router or from there it will go to network video recording and of course there is a power supply. To be more precise, you can also have here the closed CCTV monitoring of the CCTV along with the switch and from there to network video recording and monitoring by the security personnel router and hub where these recordings or the signals can be transmitted through the internet and recorded in the cloud or stored in the cloud and can be accessed by any devices. That you need to understand the CCTV circuit and also it is becoming more and more smarter. Further, the newer format is you can place a CCTV in any place and you need not have any switcher or the router it can be directly connected to the cloud through an internet and you can access the cloud recording by any devices such as mobile phone or tablet that means the CCTV is becoming more smarter easier to use and ubiquitously can be available to any person or even to the hospitals businesses hotel management or any places. What are the uses of CCTV? First and the foremost is for safety and security of the establishment. The establishment may be hospital, hotel, may be bank, ATMs and various other places. Further, it can also be used observing the behavior of incarcerated inmates and also it can be used in airports or building and sensitive installations like defense it can be placed for monitoring purpose for transparency and accountability this can occur or placed in workplaces to monitor the employees whether they are working whether they are punching in at time whether they are going outside how they are behaving with the customers or clients can be monitored by the employer placement of cctvs in hospitals may be in ICU or in isolation wards such as in COVID ward 
many a time the doctors and the nurses may not be available continuously in the vicinity of the patient. The patients are monitored through CCTV. So CCTV in general is a deterrent to crime and also for the potential offenders who are planning to commit crime. But at the same time, it also can be misused. First and the foremost is data security. The recording can be hacked or can be copied on any other devices. And further, the privacy of the individual who is on CCTV can also be compromised. If it is in the hospital, confidentiality of his illness and if the dissemination of these recordings becomes public, who will take responsible? Is it the hospital, the doctor, the person who is the IT personnel who is in charge or the service provider like cloud service provider, whether he will be held responsible? Many a time, these CCTV recordings can also be used by the doctors for the purpose of advertisements. Like telling, I had so and so, and so client coming to my hospital. You can see the CCTV recording. Such misuse can occur in any place. Let's understand CCTV in health establishment. The CCTV in establishment, that means the employer or the health establishment wants to install CCTV to monitor the public who are entering into the hospital or else the patients who are in the ICU or in isolation ward or maybe in the neonatal ward to constantly monitor the infant or the child and also to monitor patients' relatives, family members who are potentially violent if there is something goes wrong. Many a time it also be placed in forensic ward, maybe in prison ward for evaluation purpose and also for many other reason. Mainly CCTV is placed, placed for safety, security, treatment and to control violence. Many a time even the health establishment wants to install CCTV or hidden, com hidden cameras to monitor their employees, employees work habit, whether they are coming at time, how they are behaving with their patients, whether there are sham surgeries done and also whether the employees are sincere, whether they are negligent in their duty and also they want to know whether there are false insurance claim by the patients and also finally the employer wants to know whether their employees are following the law or not. At the same time, they also would like to know if the contract individual or the employee, whether he is delivering the goods in right time or else whether it is in the adequate amount, quality and quantity for that also CCTV is useful. Many a time, the public also wants to have CCTV in the health establishment to monitor the healthcare personnel in ICU, in OT. And also they want to know whether the doctors, nurses and other healthcare professionals working in high depend dependency unit, whether they are taking care of their loved ones appropriately in the closed wall to check whether there is ghost surgeries done by the doctors to record doctors opinion or behavior without the knowledge of the doctor and many a time they use various devices and many a time even the CCTV monitoring is done by the employees. Basically here the CCTV is used to monitor the employees whether they are medically negligent whether there are any accidents or errors which occurs in the hospital, is it the employee is responsible? Auditing of the behavior of the health care personnel are essential in the era where CCTV is available easily and accountability is very high towards the person with illness or else in the rights based health care time. There was an important article which came in the Korean Medical Journal. Here, the title of the article was Installation of CCTVs in Operating Room. How should we prepare? This is an article published by Kim in 2022. The reason for publication was the South Korea came up with a Medical Service Act 
Here in this act, the lawmakers clearly indicated they need to install CCTV in the OT, that is in the operating theatre. The main reason is to control the ghost surgeries, unnecessary claim of insurance by the hospital, inappropriate behaviour of the medical personnel and other personnel who are working in the health establishment and also to manage the medical accidents and also to train other people, basically the auditing. This is again, look at the country has come up with the legislation to have CCTV in the operating, in, operate, in operation theatre. Now let's understand, what are the ethical issues if you place CCTV in the hospital? First and the foremost is, confidentiality about the illness and treatment. The doctors, nurses have high ethical obligation to keep this confidential. If you record in a CCTV and somebody else may distribute that so and so person came to meet so and so doctor. Not only that, privacy issue about the videos, images and audio. Imagine the patient is disrobing for an examination. Such a videos are leaked for the public. Autonomy. Whether if you are placing CCTV, whether you are taking informed consent by the patient and their family members. Nowadays, use of smart CCTV, that is, use of artificial intelligence to analyze the behavior of the patient, family members, or else the public at large. So, in such a scenario, there are various ethical issues which are arising. Many a time it is unanswered or there are no laws to regulate placement of CCTV in the health establishment. Now, what is the smart CCTV? Here, by applying artificial intelligence or machine learning to CCTV can open a new world but also arise the serious ethical issues. Here, smart CCTV monitors the behavior not only of the patient but also the healthcare providers and other family members and public who are in the health establishment. They can also predict the behavior of the healthcare personnel and also whether the healthcare personnel has done something wrong can immediately report to the employer. Not only it can predict the behavior but, on, but it also can stop the crime. But however, one need to understand this AI and machine learning can go to any extent and breach the confidentiality of the patient. But however, the issue remains is whether the larger public interest versus right to private privacy of an individual which should prevail is a big question. Let's discuss about CCTV and laws in India. In India, the CCTV cameras are governed by various legislation. First and the foremost very important is Information Technology Act of 2000. Similarly, the Information Technology Act Rules 2011, which was notified under this legislation. Indian Evidence Act of 1872, Section 65B, talks about whether the CCTV recording can be used as an evidence or not. Indian Penal Code, Section 354C, specific legislations and case laws. Let's discuss each one of them because if you are going to have CCTV in your hospitals, you need to know these laws, my dear friends. First and the foremost is Information Technology Act of 2000. Every healthcare individual, healthcare personnel and also the person who is working in the healthcare industry should know. Section 66E of IT Act, that is punishment for violation of privacy. Under this act, whoever intentionally or knowingly captures, publishes or transmits the image of private area of any person without his or her consent shall be punished with imprisonment which may extend to 3 years or with fine exceeding, not exceeding 2 lakhs or both. If he does the second time, the punishment can be increased up to 7 years, my dear friend, with fine up to 5 lakhs. Now you need to understand this. Here, capturing without the knowledge of those videos, images, publishing this, transmitting these images 
what are those images private area of any person what is this private area private area means genitalia breast buttocks semi nude person or any person uh, actually whereas in healthcare establishment it is the patient whose security and privacy is very important under this law now let's understand these rules under the it act according to these rules organizations that is health establishments are required to inform the individuals about the collection that is recording storage and usage of these personal information and to obtain the consent about the same additionally these organization or health establishment are also required to put in place a reasonable security practices and procedures to protect this information from unauthorized access alteration tampering disclosure or destruction of these recordings the use of cctv cameras are allowed in public places without the consent of the individuals as long the cameras are not pointed in the areas where there is a reasonable expectation of privacy such as washroom changing rooms or maybe even in operational theaters the use of cctv cameras is allowed for the protection of safety and security of the individuals and property as well as for the prevention detection and investigation of any crime so the cctv needs to be placed in such a place where it is a public place my dear friends that you need to keep in mind the cctvs placed in a public places need to have a clear cut signage mentioning that you are under the cctv monitoring smile please so such kind of signage should be placed next to the cctv camera if you don't do that again it is the violation of the rules and it should be placed in the prominent places where cctv is placed and also that should be mentioned in the local language english and the national language maybe hindi also now let's understand what does the indian evidence act of 1872 talks about under section 65b whether the cctv recording electronic recordings can it be admissible in the court of law yes of course under section 65b it says that any information contained in any electronic record shall deem to be also as a document and they have placed certain important criteria how it should be considered as document and it also discusses about the proper working of the computer input of those recordings to the computer and period of collection of these evidences what was the time of starting when it was collected what was the recording devices that needs to be clearly identified if there are multiple computers are involved in capturing the video analyzing this editing this the whole even it will be considered as one computer my dear friends but the important is the need for certificate that means if you are producing electronic documents or records you need to produce a certificate also that is the certificate mentioning identifying the computer which recorded it recorder process of recording was there any tampering involved in recording and also production and placement in front of the court however this was a contentious issue in an important landmark judgment by the supreme court of india shafi mohammed versus state of himachal pradesh in 2017 a division bench of supreme court held that requirement of a certificate under section 65b is not always mandatory and can be dispensed with with the interest of the justice that means if you have a cctv recording and you need not produce the certificate along with the recordings my dear friends now let's look into the indian penal code what does it say section 354 c talks about voyeurism here it specifically applies for any men what does it say any man who watches or captures the images of a woman engaging in a private act in circumstances where she would usually have the expectation of not being observed either by the perpetrator or by any other person at the behest of perpetrator or to disseminate such image shall be punished up to 1 to 3 years of imprisonment my dear friends so 
if you are recording such important private movements that again a punishable offence under Indian Penal Code. But however, there are certain specific legislation that is right to confidentiality of the patients. For example, Mental Health Care Act of 2017, Section 23 talks about right to confidentiality of a person with mental illness under no circumstances. The psychiatrist or the healthcare providers will leak the information with regard to his treatment or his mental health condition to any other person. That means not only CCTV. Here, the law is very specific with regard to confidentiality and CCTV can cause the breach of this confidentiality. Further, Medical Termination of Pregnancy Act 2021 amended. Section 5A talks about, again, right to confidentiality of a woman who is seeking for MTP. Further, HIV and AIDS Prevention and Control Act of 2017, Section 8, 9 and 11 talks about confidentiality of HIV patients. Think about this. Here, we are not only talking about the recording of private area of a patient, we are talking about privacy of his treatment, diagnosis and also his health condition, my dear friends. Now, let's understand CCTV and case laws. What are the case laws? CCTV in classrooms, especially this was a discussion with regard to state of Delhi. After getting reports of child abuse inside the classroom and school premises, the state government of Delhi decided to install CCTV cameras inside the school premises and also inside the classroom. This was taken offensive by the Delhi Parents Association and also the Government Schools Teachers Association, challenging its installation of CCTV cameras in the school premises and also inside the classroom. And this was a PIL. Please remember that. And in this case, the, the installation of CCTV inside the classroom and live streaming, streaming of those classroom footages without obtaining the consent of either the student, along with the student and the parents and the teachers, was considered as a gross and direct violation of fundamental right to privacy, my dear friend. This was the, the decision taken by the Delhi High Court and also the Supreme Court. You need to understand this. Here, they allowed the placement of CCTV cameras within the school perimeter, outside the classroom, outside the washroom and toilet. It can be placed in the classroom veranda, maybe in the canteen, play area, gym and also in the public, so-called public places, the CCTV can be placed, but not inside the classroom, my dear friends. That was the decision. And similarly, there was a one more PIL in Kerala. In 2018, the Kerala High Court ordered the removal of CCTV cameras inside the classroom in Aranakulam districts, my dear friend. Here they clearly, the High Court of Kerala said, violation of privacy of the teachers and students was mentioned in their decision. But however, with regard to health establishment, the decision of the High Court of Assam, that is High Court of Guwahati, came into picture. This was a Sumoto case, was registered with regard to the barbaric incident of the doctor being brutally thrashed and it was recorded. This incident occurred when a COVID patient died, su died suddenly in a COVID care center. In that, a Sumoto case was registered by the High Court of Guwahati and they clearly told the government of Assam to have CCTV cameras in the hospital. And the Assam government placed CCTV cameras in various hospitals. And in this case, the High Court of Guwahati clearly said that mere installation of CCTV cameras in the hospital is not enough. You need to have adequate security personnel and also you need to connect these cameras to the nearest police station so that 
the police can arrive and protect the healthcare personnel from violence. Let's discuss about the CCTV in hospitals by the Supreme Court of India. An NGO called as All India Consumer Protection and Action Committee approached the Supreme Court through APIL. This NGO contended that many people have lost their lives due to the lack of adequate services provided by the hospitals and doctors during the second wave of pandemic. And they approached and asked for a remedy telling that CCTV cameras need to be placed in every ward of the hospital. The Supreme Court listened to them and they clearly said that that the Supreme Court cannot direct every hospital, state government, union territories to install CCTV cameras in every ward of all the hospitals in the country because it is an issue of privacy, my dear friends. Think about a young lady who wants to undergo medical termination of pregnancy. If you have CCTV camera, will she go inside the hospital? If a person wants to take treatment for sexually transmitted diseases, will he go to the hospital? If a person has illnesses such as leprosy, mental illness, tuberculosis, or else illnesses with regard to reproductive organs, if the CCTV is there, will they take treatment in such hospital is a big question. Hence, the Supreme Court refused to accept this PIL. Further, the same Supreme Court came up with a landmark judgment to have CCTVs in the police station. Here, in a case, Paramveer Singh Saini vs. Baljit Singh, the decision was taken in 2021. In this judgment, my dear friend, Supreme Court said, it is an important precedent that is by making installation of CCTVs, cameras in police station and in the office of investigating agencies. Which are those? CBI, NIA, ED, NCB, DIR, SFIO or any other agencies who have a power to arrest and interrogation. In such agencies, there should be a CCTV cameras placed in the interrogation room. This will secure the Indian citizen the right to have a life with a dignified life actually and will protect under trial prisoners and those in police custody from custodial torture. This was a landmark judgment, my dear friends. Of course, the police personnel are resisting to have the CCTV cameras in the interrogation room in the police station, in the police station premises, except in the toilet and the washroom, my dear friends. Now, there was another landmark judgment by the Supreme Court of India. Here, in the CCTV as a best evidence was the decision given by the Supreme Court. Let's understand this. This was a death of an Italian. Under suspicious circumstances, this decision was given. Three Italian tourists who come to India and they visit Varanasi and they check into a hotel. All three of them, that is two male and one female. They check into a single room on February 2010. Unfortunately, on February 4th, 2010, one of the person dies in a mysterious circumstances. In this case, the both the district court and the high court gave punishment to the other two Italians telling that you were there in the same room and the death of this person under mysterious circumstances hence a death penalty was given. But however, the Supreme Court thought otherwise. Why is that? The Supreme Court said that observing and production of CCTV footage was to be considered as the best piece of evidence in such a cases. Unfortunately, the CCTV recording was not confiscated, not produced in front of the court. With regard to crime scene, my dear friend, it is for the prosecution to produce such evidence in order to invoke Section 106 of the Act, that is Indian Evidence Act, 
against the accused to prove his alibi. That is, if you want to say, if the person, the death occurred inside the house or inside the room and the CCTV clearly shows there was no entry or exit from that room and then the death has occurred inside the room. In such a scenario, the burden of proof will be entirely shifted to the accused. In this case, there was no CCTV recording produced in front of the court, my dear friend. Hence, the Supreme Court said that this was a shoddy investigation and CCTV was not, recording was not placed in front of the court. And hence, the burden of proof cannot be shifted on the accused, my dear friends. And clearly said that CCTV is a the best evidence in such cases, my dear friend. In case of failure to produce CCTV footage, raises a serious doubt about the cases against the prosecution, how they did the investigation. In this case, my dear friend, Apex Court made very clear observation. CCTV is the best piece of evidence to invoke such a clause where the burden of proof can be shifted to the accused. And one more important landmark judgment, that is Justice K.S. Puttaswamy versus Union of India, which was delivered on 26 September 2018. In this case, my dear friend, Supreme Court was discussing about the right to privacy under the Constitution of India. Here, a retired High Court judge, Honorable K.S. Puttaswamy, filed a petition in 2012 against the Union of India before a nine-judge nine judge bench of the Supreme Court challenged the constitutionality of the Aadhaar card because it was violating the right to privacy. He raised important question. He raised the question whether Aadhaar Act or the rules can it force a citizen to provide his biometric recording to the authorities who can access it? How can the state utilize it? What purposes? Whether the informed consent is very essential here? And where these recording can be utilized? Such a question was raised in front of the Supreme Court. And the Supreme Court gave a landmark judgment, my dear friend. And the Supreme Court said that Aadhaar Act does not create an architecture for pervasive surveillance of any person. That was a landmark decision. And they also said that other case upheld the right to privacy as a fundamental right under the Article 21 of the Indian Constitution, my dear friends. That means every citizen of India has right to privacy under the Article 21. The court noted that the state will have to take all possible measures to protect the data from being stolen or tampered, that it is mandatory for the state to disclose the information to the citizen, what they are recorded and how they have recorded and how they store it need to be clearly intimated to every citizen. And every citizen has a right to privacy, my dear friend. But however, there is no comprehensive law with regard to CCTV placement, with regard to recording, how the recording will be done, where the recording will be done and where it will be stored and who will have access to this and how it will be erased. Hence, there is a need for comprehensive CCTV related law. Since there is lack of clear law on personal data protection with regard to recording of this sensitive data, private data, storing this, accessing this and destroying this, we need a law at this point of time. There is no clear cut law regarding placement of these cameras. Lack of oversight on recording, storing, accessing them who will be accessing them, data security, whether this data can be stored in the local computer or in the cloud, whether the server is there outside the country, whether the third parties of the other third countries, can they access these recordings, CCTV monitoring in public places for the security purpose is a very broad guideline and this can violate the privacy law, my dear friends. Whether, if you are recording such intimate areas of the person, whether the consent is taken, whether the consent of the healthcare provider, family members, 
if for the children whether it is taken from the parents or not whether the patients and family members who are coming under the cctv monitoring whether their consent is taken or not smartphones and spy phone or spy cameras which are used for recording of the healthcare professionals and also the employees of the healthcare establishment whether such recording to be utilized or not telemedicine consultation has brought and opened the pandora's box my dear friend recording of the display either on the television or maybe on the computer monitor or even on the smartphone or tablet has raised a huge question whether these recordings can be done or not whether if it is done what is the punishment if it is done without the consent now the question is if such recording is done can it be utilized in a criminal case can it be utilized in a civil case or else can it be used in medical negligence cases can it be utilized for the purpose of larger public interest is the questions need to be answered in a new comprehensive law my dear friends but however i'll be discussing about recommendations of placing cctv in various hospitals and clinics based upon various laws in other countries guidelines and policies first and the foremost healthcare professionals or the healthcare industries or healthcare establishment can place cctvs in public places with a signage clearly mentioning this area is under the cctv monitoring this can be opd waiting area entrance of the hospital exit of the hospital canteen payment area entrance for the emergency room staff room parking area elevator isolation rooms icu and also violence prone areas my dear friend here you need to remember it is a public access areas not in the private wards or in the dormitory wards you cannot place cctv hence you need to avoid having cctv in the examination room consultation room changing room washroom and toilets my dear friend of course including operation theater wherever you are placing cctv please have the signage telling that you are under cctv surveillance any recording of the private areas or hidden recording covert recording should have written informed consent from the stakeholders that means patients consent has to be there patients family member consent if they are part of the cctv recording also the consent of the employees without their knowledge you cannot record them hence you have to be very careful don't place cctvs in the consultation rooms my dear friend to monitor the doctor or placing the cctv in the nurse station if you are doing that you need to take written consent from the doctor and nurses no one should have access to this cctv recordings without proper authorization you need to nominate an it person who will be in charge of this recording and also he will play an important role of security of this data training of the security personnel about manning of this dashboard of cctv and not allowing any person to access these recordings clear you need to have hospital policy policies with regard to storing of this data and also accessing viewing and erasing it at what time please keep the privacy of the patient uncompromised it should be a topmost priority in your hospital and every healthcare personnel should know about the latest law regarding cctv and it related information such as if you have if you are going to hire a cloud server you need to know the server is in india or not if it is in the other country it is prohibited under the law whether these recordings if it is transmitted to the cloud whether it is encrypted whether it is hipaa compliance is there how long the recordings will be kept who will be in charge and if there is a breach who will be responsible for that breach there should be a clear contract mentioning between the healthcare professional or the healthcare industry and the it industry my dear friends to conclude healthcare provider can install cctv in the public places only and it is done for the monitoring security 
and safety purposes, my dear friends. Healthcare provider cannot place these cameras in private places or recording of the private parts of the individuals. And if you are doing that, you need to take a return informed consent from the stakeholders, including the employees, my dear friends. Without return informed consent, can call for a legal action against the person who is recording or ordered for recording, my dear friends. However, advancement of the sophisticated CCTV monitoring, smart CCTV cameras have raised various ethical and legal issues. Introduction of AI, chat GPT and machine learning is opening the can of worms with regard to recording of these CCTV ethical and legal issues. But one important point you need to understand an individual's privacy must be balanced against the public interest and safety, my dear friends. That should be the rule of thumb you need to keep in your mind when you are placing CCTV in a public place. Thank you very much for giving your valuable time. Stay safe.